A table with five columns is filled with numbers in a certain pattern. The first four rows of the tables are shown below, in which row and column will the number 292 appear. There are three ways that I have come up with that will help you solve questions relating to pattern. The first step is to study and find the pattern. What do I mean? You have to look at the question, look at the pattern itself, and find something that helps you link it to see how the pattern runs, in what way. And number two, you have to check the pattern with an example. What do I mean by example? That means later on, you're going to select any random number from the table itself, and you're going to try it with the pattern that you've come up with, and you're going to see if it works. Well, if it works, you should get the row and the column as desired. So for example, let's say if I were to pick 15, I should get row 3 and column E. That is the meaning of checking the pattern with example. Next, the last step. After knowing that your pattern works and you have tried it out at least once, you now may use it by applying the pattern to find a solution that you are asked to. So let's try this question. Step number one, let us observe and study the pattern. So we notice that there are five columns, correct? And there are many, many rows that run infinitely. So we know that there are five columns. It goes by a multiple of five. That means row one, there'll be five numbers and then row two and so forth. It runs in multiple of five. And what else do you notice? Well, I do notice that multiple of five. Then we have 10. Then we have 15 and 20. I know that every time the multiple of fives, it's always in column E, if not column A. It's always at both sides. That's the second thing that I noticed. Any other thing that I noticed? Now we have to make full use of the row number. Let's take a look at row number one. If you notice row number one, it's on E, and then the next one, it's on A. It's an alternating pattern. But is there a way that I can find that will fix the number on? If you look at number one, row number one, it is an odd number. And then the number coincides on column E. But when it's row number two, and the number two itself, it's an even number, it's on A. Let's see if it's true for row number three and four. Three is an odd number, it's on E. Yes, that's true. And row number four, it's an even number, Yes, it's on A. So that's the next thing that I noticed. Any other thing that I notice? I need to find something relating to the numbers in between. How does it run? So let's see. It's go it, the numbers going from num uh, column A, B, C, D, E. Can you see that it runs in this way, in a snake manner? Going down, alternating its flow. And I notice something else. Every time when it's on the multiple of five, it goes down. So five, six, it goes down on the same column. And then 10, it goes down to 11 on the same column again before it turns. Can you see? So 15, same thing, it goes down again. Same thing. 20, it goes down again. And you also need to take note the flow. If it's, if it's going down on column E, it cannot be going right because there's no more column on the right hand side. So definitely it would turn to go to column D. Same thing for column A, it goes down, definitely it cannot be turning to the left. It would definitely turn to column B on the right hand side. Okay, so now I'm done studying with the pattern. And second step, I'm going to check. So let me randomly choose any number from the table. Let me choose 17. Okay, I'm going to choose 17. 
and I'm going to imagine that I do not know that it's in the, the row and the column that's written and I shall try to work it out. So 17, I know it's moving by a multiple of 5. So the first thing that I need to do is find the row number. So 17, my first step, I have to divide by 5. I get 3 and remainder 2. So what does this 3 refers to? It refers to the row number. And let's take a look. This is odd. So odd number, as proven, it's on column E. So it's on column E. Okay, so now I'm going to plug the number in. 3 times 5 is 15. That means I know for sure 15 is on column E, row 3. And it is true. Can you see? And just now we talk about the flow. It goes downwards and to the left. So I have 15. And the remainder is the steps that I have to move. So let's see. 15, 16, 17. And I stop, I will get my answer. Okay? So let's try it out with the question that's given. They want us to find 292. So relating to just now what I've done, the first step, I have to find the row number by dividing by 5. So I'm going to do it now. 292, I'm going to divide it by 5. I get 58 R2. Let me check the answer. 292 divided by 5. Yep. Okay. So now let's try to op um, understand this number. This is the row number. Okay. But let's observe. This is an even number. Even number, which means it will fall on column A. And what's the number? So I'm going to take 58 times 5. I will get 290. So again, I always refer to what I've done before by using a smaller number. And I can always check how it runs again. So 15, it's odd. 290, it's even. So it's on column A. So I'm going to imagine 290 here. Okay. So 290 is there, and I need to move how many steps? Two steps. Okay, what do I mean by this two step? If you notice, 290, 291, 292, that's why it's two step. And remember, it's going downwards. So I'm going to write the number in. Imagine 290 is here. Remember, it goes downward, so 291 will be here. And I have 292. And I stop. I have found my answer. So the first thing that I have to do, I need to check. My number, 290, what row number it is? 58. Okay. But remember, I'm not finding 290. The question wants 292. So 292 is on the next row. So it should be 58 plus 1. It is row 58. So let me write down. Oh, sorry. It's row 59. And on which column is it? On column B. That's how I got my answer. And always, once you have gotten the answer, check again by looking at the pattern and see if it's true for all of it. So let's see. I have 290 and I know that 58, row number 58, it's an even number and even number, it's always on column A. And yes, I have A. 
and I remainder of 2, so I move 2 steps and the traffic moves downwards. So 290 is row 58, but I move 2 steps, 1 and 2, it's on column B. My answer is not row 58 because I have already moved down 1 step, so my answer is row 59. That's it. My answer, row 59 and column B. Well, this is actually a simpler question of multiples 5. You may have seen other questions that's multiples of 4 or multiples of other numbers. So if you have any questions, you may pose it on the chat below. Thank you.